All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, right here, it's Friday. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the First Amendment um, of the United States Constitution. It gives you five key freedoms. Actually, this is what it officially says. It says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to peaceably uh, to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. All told, uh, boiling that down, the uh, First Amendment gives the American people five specific freedoms, and those freedoms are freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom to peaceably assemble or freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition the government. So five things provided by the First Amendment. Uh, there are limits on every single right that we receive in the Constitution. So um, can you literally say anything you want without, you know, without a, anything? Like, are there any limits on that? Yes. The answer is yes. There are limits on each one of these. And the key thing I want you to remember is uh, b basically what is allowed and what is not allowed is up to the Supreme Court or it's up to the federal court system. It's the court's job to interpret the law. Therefore, they decide what the law means and essentially they decide where the limits are regarding freedom of speech. So can you say anything you want? Well, most things are, are okay in the United States. I mean, we have a very broad... Uh, freedom of speech here in this country, unlike other countries. But what you can and can't do, where the limits are, the Supreme Court has the final say. Again, that's basically deciding on the constitutionality of the law. Um, so there are limits. Uh, and what the court has decided, they've, they've said that if your First Amendment inspires what they call imminent lawless action, then it is not allowed. In other words, if what you're saying, if your speech is creating or encouraging people to be lawless, or if it's encouraging people to, or if it's creating what they call a clear and present danger, if it, your, your speech is directly causing danger to somebody else, it is not uh, permitted. It crosses the line. So I'll give you a few examples um, of where the limits are. And I'm going to have you guess specifically where the limits are. Uh, the first one, uh, can people have more? And this applies to freedom of religion. And again, the Supreme Court has had to rule on each of these issues. And each of these issues apply to the First Amendment. So the first issue is, can people have more than one spouse if they say polygamy is part of their religion? Think on that for a second. And the correct answer is, at least what the Supreme Court has ruled is that, uh, no, you cannot. Um, the Supreme Court says that a law against polygamy enforces the standards of a civilized society. So therefore, if you have more than one spouse, if you have more than one wife, if you have more than one husband, that violates the standards of what the Supreme Court says, a civilized society. It is not civilized according to the Supreme Court, and therefore your freedom of religion does not protect polygamy. So there's that one. Um, there are other issues regarding... Uh, um, freedom of religion. Another word, or uh, another one is, can you get out of being drafted for the military if you say it conflicts with your religion? Um, we don't have, we don't currently have a draft now, but back in the day, they, they certainly did. The answer to that is yes. Uh, however, the tricky thing is, the legal system has to decide whether or not each claim is legitimate. Now, define legitimacy. I don't know. I guess that's kind of in the hands of, of the courts. But uh, even non-religious objectors can get out of military service if there's some sort of philosophical, overall philosophical belief 
that war is bad or it's violating your moral principles if you were to be forced to go into a war or serve in the army or in the military, I should say. So the correct answer to that is you can, that can be covered under your freedom of speech. Um, there are more. We're going to go through quite a few. Uh, the question is, can teachers, coaches, whoever lead prayers in class or can they lead <laughs> prayers in class during school activities or during graduation? Uh, so the question is, could I get in front of the class and lead a prayer? Does that violate the Establishment Clause, which says gov the government cannot establish a certain religion? The answer to that is no. Um, I cannot lead a prayer in school. A coach cannot lead a prayer at a school function. Uh, public schools are government in, uh, institutions. And if you go back and look at the First Amendment, it says the government shall not establish or promote any sort of religion. That's what they call the quote unquote establishment clause. So that's a little bit about um, freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Uh, this will be continued in another video.